It started July 2013. After I delivered my baby through CS, I discovered that my vision was blurred. I lost my sight in 2013. I had glaucoma. Then I found out my left eyes was already gone. I could not see my baby again. I could not see my husband again. Some people in my family have this belief that blindness is a curse. Then of what use am I then? I lost my dad, now I'm losing my second eyes. What does inclusion mean to me? Inclusion means making sure that nobody's left behind. Inclusion for me is when we all have that knowledge, the tutelage on how to get to work and live like a normal person or someone that is sighted. It will include us, we visually impaired, into the, the, the society. Helps change the mindset of other visually impaired people that are out there. Inclusion to me means not being discriminatory, um, being part of the process, being part of the solution, and also being part of an ecosystem. It gives hope to a visually impaired person. I lost my sight in 2013, and ever since that has been very easy. I was walking on the road, then I just walked into portholes. I was walking into portholes, then I stopped. I looked back, but I can see the road. I wasn't able to see the portals, but I could see the road smoothly. Even my brother asked me, asked the ophthalmologist that, can replacement and eyeball replacements be done? The ophthalmologist said no, so that he can give me one of his own eyes. Whenever I bump my leg, the next thing I hear is, can't you see? <laughs> you know I can't see, I ask him, can't you see? Right now, I'm in the Federal Nigerian Society for the Blind and I'm getting myself um, equipped to move into the world, the general world, the people that are sighted. But coming here, actually the story changed. I found that I wasn't alone. There are other people uh, that are also blind, that are visually impaired, like myself. Then I actually learned to be happy, yeah. Because uh, without sadness, one can never know what happiness is. And since I came here, I discovered that, yes, there is still something I can do that I can't limit myself here. I say have hope. So I grab my visions again. There's some stigma in the country. Because the stigma exists, um, in the minds of mindsets of the recruiters, they wouldn't want to have to deal with that. Uh, so from, from the get-go, um, they will not even get into the funnel to be selected. I believe I can go back into teaching. I can become a professional teacher. There's a lot of organizations now are saying, oh, people that are, you know, that have, uh, that are living with some uh, disability or the other are encouraged to apply. Um, that's somehow like tokenism uh, because they say that, but they haven't adequately prepared for that. If I get an opportunity to be interviewed, I will tell them basically the basic skills I have. As a nation, we start with what did you study? But uh, in reality, we know that what we studied is one thing. What we can do and what we need to do are two different things. I love teaching because I studied education. So I will be focusing on, um, one, the key expertise, the core areas of specialization. I worked in, I work as a laboratory technologist in a laboratory. Um, before I lost my sight, I was into printing. The skill I have is uh, writing. This new new world I am now, so I'm trying to refine that writing skill to be able to suit into this present state I am now. I love singing, acting. If I am employed, I think I'll work towards building the company and taking the company to a greater height. The advice I would give an employer who wants to employ a visually impaired person is uh, firstly, do not look at the person physically, like what you see physically. Because when you look at the physical self, you see blindness and you feel, no, this person isn't worth it. Visually impaired should not be looked down. They should not underrate us that we can't do anything. 
okay, is this person capable? Test the knowledge of that person. Right, you find that this person, okay, has the knowledge, has the skills, has the ability to actually perform even more than a sighted person, then you go ahead and employ. I seek for inclusion and I seek for the best in life. For other organizations, move from tokenism, walk the talk. People that are sighted, there are people that can see clearly, perfectly clearly. They shouldn't use our present situation to mock us. I see you, we see you, um, and the way you're confused, the way you're wondering how, is the way people on the other side are wondering how you're managing. If I bring you in, um, am I sure I'm providing the right uh, place for you? Um, and because of that, you need to come out. We lost our sight, not our brain, not our memory, not our sense of reasoning, not our sense of thinking, just our sight. So they should just, they, they, they should please, they should please stop mocking us. They should please stop, stop mimicking us or using our situation to, 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 to close doors against us. That's, that's what I'd like to say.